Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on the division of polynomials. We're just going to walk through it step by step. So when you have the division of polynomials, you'll have a question that looks something like this. Divide 2x plus 2x squared minus 12 by x plus 3. And what we do is we use the long division process. So the long division process, if you remember, looks like this. All right. We arrange the variables in the polynomial to be divided. So this is the polynomial to be divided, and it's called the dividend in descending powers. So that means the term with the highest power goes first, 2x squared. Second highest power goes next, and that's a plus 2x. And a minus 12, the constant, the constant always goes last. Okay? <clears throat> and we're dividing by the x plus 3. So that goes here. The first step. Okay. Now you divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. This thing here is the divisor. So we take the first term, we divide it by the first term of the divisor to find the first term in the quotient, and that's the piece up here. So we're dividing 2x squared by x to find the first term of the quotient. Now, normally I don't think about dividing. I think about what do I have to multiply by 2x, or sorry, what do I have to multiply by x to get me 2x squared? And that would be 2x. All right? So then that's the next step. Now, moving on. <clears throat> Let's transfer this information up here. Then what we do is we multiply the divisor by the first term of the quotient. That's this thing. Okay. So we take this, the first term of the quotient, and multiply it by the divisor. Then we subtract that product from the dividend, which is the steps that we would use in long division, right? So we take the 2x, multiply it by the x, first of all, and we have 2x times x, which is 2x squared. Then you take the 2x and multiply it by the 3 as well, and it's a plus 3. So 2x times plus 3 is a plus 6x. Then what you do is you subtract this product here from the dividend, which is this piece, just like in long division. So we're subtracting this entire piece. So 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. And then we have 2x, and this is a minus 6x, which gives us minus 4x. Okay. So there you go. Next step. So let's just rewrite this. <clears throat> so we said we had 2x here, and then we had 2x squared plus 6x, which we subtracted. And we were left with 0 minus 4x. Now what you do is continue the process with the second and the following terms of the dividend, which is this piece. So we, we work with each one of these pieces, all right? So again, we're taking, um, right, we're thinking about what we, oh, sorry, lost my train of thought. Next step, again, is to bring down this piece, as in long division, so when we subtracted, we, we ended up with this minus 4x, correct? The next step is to bring down this minus 12. So we bring down our minus 12. And then at that point, we go back here, 
and we say to ourselves, what do I multiply by x to give me a minus 4x, so this first term here. So minus 4 has to be multiplied by the x to give us a minus 4x. So then we put minus 4 up here. And we say minus 4 times x gives me minus 4x. And minus 4 times plus 3 gives me minus 12. Now, don't forget, I'm subtracting this entire piece. Now, it helps to just notice that we have minus 4x minus 12 here. And we're subtracting the exact same thing, minus 4x minus 12. So when you're subtracting the same thing, you always end up with 0. Okay. And if you want to uh, talk about that a little more, this minus times the minus makes this a plus 4x. So minus 4x plus 4x is 0. And this minus times this minus 12 makes it a plus 12. So the minus 12 and the plus 12 makes it a 0. So here we are at a 0. And here's an example. I'm just going to walk through this example. Now again, first step, long division. So we set it up for long division. It has to be in descending powers. So the 2x squared goes first. Then the x goes next, and it's a plus x. And the minus 21 goes last. And the divisor is the x minus 3. And we know that because we're saying divide this by this. All right? So this then is the divisor. So now we ask ourselves, what do we multiply by x to give us 2x squared? And that would be 2x. Then we take 2x, multiply it by x, and it gives us 2x squared. Then we take 2x and multiply it by minus 3, and that gives us minus 6x. Now, we're subtracting this entire piece. 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. And what we're doing here, we have x, and we're subtracting minus 6x. So a negative and a negative gives us a positive 6x here. It's really important to pay attention to that. So it's x minus a negative 6x, which means x plus 6x. So this becomes a plus 7x. Now the next step is to bring down our minus 21. So we have minus 21. Now again, we go back here and we ask ourselves, what do we multiply by x to give us 7x? And that would be a plus 7. So plus 7. 7 times x is 7x. 7 times minus 3 is minus 21. And we're going to subtract this entire thing from 7x minus 21. So we see that we have 7x minus 21. We're subtracting the exact same thing. That gives us 0. And again, this is a whole thing, subtracting the same thing. It's the same as 5 minus 5. Something subtracting itself gives us 0. So here we are, and we are finished with this question. OK? And uh, that video has been brought to you by the people at the Learning Assistance Center, Red River College. We are wise guys. Hope you have a good day. Bye.